Nootropic, Wikipedia article audio. Nootropics, also known as smart drugs and cognitive enhancers, are drugs, supplements, and other substances that improve cognitive function, particularly executive functions, memory, creativity, or motivation, in healthy individuals. Availability and prevalence. Use by students. Side effects. Drugs. Central nervous system stimulants. Race TAMs. Miscellaneous. Dietary supplements. Null findings in systematic reviews. The use of cognition enhancing drugs by healthy individuals in the absence of a medical indication is one of the most debated topics among neuroscientists, psychiatrists, and physicians, which spans a number of issues, including the ethics and fairness of their use, concerns over adverse effects, and the diversion of prescription drugs for non medical uses, among others. Nonetheless, the international sales of cognition enhancing supplements exceeded 1 billion US dollar in 2015 and the global demand for these compounds is still growing rapidly. The word nootropic was coined in 1972 by a Romanian psychologist and chemist, Corneliu e. Georgia, from the Greek words nu omicron, or mind, and tauro pi epsilon iodinu meaning to bend or turn. There are only a few drugs that are known to improve some aspect of cognition. Many more are in different stages of development. The most commonly used class of drug is stimulants, such as caffeine. These drugs are purportedly used primarily to treat cognitive or motor function difficulties attributable to disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, and ADHD. Some researchers, however, report more widespread use despite concern for further research. Nevertheless, intense marketing may not correlate with efficacy. While scientific studies support the beneficial effects of some compounds, manufacturers' marketing claims for dietary supplements are usually not formally tested and verified by independent entities. The use of prescription stimulants is especially prevalent among students attending academically competitive colleges. Surveys suggest that 0.74.5% of German students have used cognitive enhancers in their lifetime. Stimulants such as dimethylamylamine and methylphenidate are used on college campuses and by younger groups. Based upon studies of self-reported illicit stimulant use, 535% of college students use diverted ADHD stimulants which are primarily used for performance enhancement rather than as recreational drugs. Several factors positively and negatively influence the use of drugs to increase cognitive performance. Among them are personal characteristics, drug characteristics, and characteristics of the social context. The main concern with pharmaceutical drugs is adverse effects and these concerns apply to cognitive enhancing drugs as well. Long-term safety data is typically unavailable for some types of nootropics. Racetams pyracetam and other compounds that are structurally related to pyracetam have few serious adverse effects and low toxicity, but there is little evidence that they enhance cognition in individuals without cognitive impairments. While addiction to stimulants is sometimes identified as a cause for concern, a very large body of research on the therapeutic use of the more addictive psychostimulants indicate that addiction is fairly rare in therapeutic doses. On their safety profile, a systematic review from June 2015 asserted, evidence indicates that at low, clinically relevant doses, 
psychostimulants are devoid of the behavioral and neurochemical actions that define this class of drugs and instead act largely as cognitive enhancers. In the United States dietary supplements may be marketed if the manufacturer can show that it can manufacture the supplement safely, that the supplement is indeed generally recognized as safe, and if the manufacturer does not make any claims about the supplements used to treat or prevent any disease or condition, supplements that contain drugs or for which treatment or prevention claims are made are illegal under U.S. law. In 2015, systematic medical reviews and meta-analyses of clinical research in humans established consensus that certain central nervous system stimulants, only when used at low concentrations, unambiguously enhance cognition in the general population, in particular, the classes of stimulants that demonstrate cognition-enhancing effects in humans act as direct agonists or indirect agonists of dopamine receptor D1, adrenoceptor A2, or both receptors in the prefrontal cortex. Relatively high doses of stimulants cause cognitive deficits. Race TAMs, such as pyracetam, oxyracetam, and aniracetam are structurally similar compounds, which are often marketed as cognitive enhancers and sold over the counter. Race TAMs are often referred to as nootropics, but this property of the drug class is not well established. The race TAMs have poorly understood mechanisms of action, however, pyracetam and aniracetam are known to act as positive allosteric modulators of AMPA receptors and appear to modulate cholinergic systems. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, pyracetam is not a vitamin, mineral, amino acid, herb, or other botanical, or dietary substance for use by man to supplement the diet by increasing the total dietary intake. Further, pyracetam is not a concentrate, metabolite, constituent, extract or combination of any such dietary ingredient. Accordingly, these products are drugs, under Section 201 of the Act, 21 U.S.C. 321 because they are not foods and they are intended to affect the structure or any function of the body. Moreover, these products are new drugs as defined by Section 201 of the Act, 21 U.S.C. 321, because they are not generally recognized as safe and effective for use under the conditions prescribed, recommended, or suggested in their labeling. Amphetamine, lisdexamphetamine, methamphetamine systematic reviews and meta-analyses report that amphetamine benefits a range of cognitive functions in the general population, and these effects are especially notable in individuals with ADHD. A systematic review from 2014 noted that low doses of amphetamine also improve memory consolidation in turn leading to improved recall of information in non-ADHD youth. It also improves task saliency and performance on tedious tasks that require a high degree of effort, methylphenidate a substituted phenethylamine that improves a range of cognitive functions in the general population. It also improves task saliency and performance on tedious tasks that require a high degree of effort. At above optimal doses, methylphenidate has off-target effects that can decrease learning by activating neurons not involved in the task at hand, eugaroics wakefulness promoting agents, modafinil increases alertness, particularly in sleep-deprived individuals, and was noted to facilitate reasoning and problem-solving in a systematic review. They are clinically prescribed for narcolepsy shift work sleep disorder, and daytime sleepiness remaining after sleep apnea treatments, xanthines shown to increase alertness, performance, and, in some studies, memory.
children and adults who consume low doses of caffeine showed increased alertness, yet a higher dose was needed to improve performance. Nicotine A meta-analysis of 41 double-blind, placebo-controlled studies concluded that nicotine or smoking had significant positive effects on aspects of fine motor abilities, alerting and orienting attention, and episodic and working memory. A 2015 review noted that stimulation of the alpha-4 beta-2 nicotinic receptor is responsible for certain improvements in attentional performance. Among the nicotinic receptor subtypes, nicotine has the highest binding affinity at the alpha-4 beta-2 receptor, which is also the biological target that mediates nicotine's addictive properties.